friends welcome to another video look where we are we are at the farmhouse we're on the land today and today i'm about to plant some potatoes because let me show you my potatoes i have this bag of potatoes here and i bought four bags of potato usually like this time of year just before the summer come in they have potatoes on sale like this is 15 pounds of potato this bag a 15 pound bag and it's $1.99 so we tend to stock up because we love potatoes but all four bags of potatoes all went to seed look at that guys they all went to seed so every potato went to seed so we we ate like a little bit from the first bag and everything else went to seed so we have all these potatoes i plant about eight bags in some sacks by the new house and now I have all these potatoes so I came out here today to feed the chickens and to check on the farm and see what's happening here see if they do any work here or anything like that because sometimes they keep, they come over here unawares and do work and we don't even know that they're working here and nobody tells us anyways so that's the company that's what they do sometimes but anyways let me show you my potatoes that I'm planting so I have all this I have these pots on them here so I decide to put some potatoes to plant in all of them here going across then I have another pot here I have one here and I have two on the other side so I will plant these potatoes and uh, we are gonna chat okay so in today's video I will be talking about the high cost of living and you don't have to blame yourself if you just can't pay your rent it's okay if you're struggling it's okay if you're having financial problems because i think everybody is just in a jungle honestly people are just in a jungle it's like every time i talk to somebody they're telling me oh my goodness it's like it's so hard to pay rent it's it's so difficult like the cost of living in canada has skyrocketed rooster i'm making a video <laughs> The cost of living in Canada has skyrocketed and the minimum wage has just gone up from $15 to $16. That's it, a dollar. Like what can a dollar do? I do not know. But people are really struggling. And the other day I was out searching for some properties for rent with someone and I was just shocked at the price of like like I saw a studio it was just like a studio and it was just like an open area with a tiny tiny little kitchenette on the side there was not even a living room or anything just an open space and it was very tiny you could just fit a bed a table what else can you fit in there like a tiny like two not even a couch a couch couldn't sit in there could not fit in there you had to have like some kind of little chair or something on the side and that was your bedroom and your living room together then the bathroom was very squished like that with a with a shower and a tiny kitchen it and they were asking for like 13 13 or 1400 yeah i think it was 1400 and nothing was included that means you have to pay for your own heat your own hot water electricity all kind of stuff what i'm saying if you're ha if you are a family how can you live in this place it's like it's so tiny and if you're a single person like you can't even live there like you can't even put a couch Oh, I saw some other places also and they were just too expensive like some places was 1600 I mean they had their own separate bathroom their own bedroom and stuff like that but it was just very expensive and I'm saying with if you're working for a minimum wage like there's no way you could afford those those things it's just impossible for you to afford any of that kind of prices so I think people really have to find some kind of alternative way of living and there is no shame in finding alternative way of living because I think sometimes you know like you go to university you go to college and you have a degree and people will believe like okay we expect you to to work in corporate world we expect you to buy a house we expect you to have a car we expect you to do this we expect you to do that it's like all these expectations from society it's like sometimes it really doesn't suit you the individual you have to find the things that just work for you you really can't look at society or what people expect of you because sometimes these things just just doesn't work out for you it's just not for you you know i find like when i was younger i my 
my main goal was not to be a slave to to society honestly not to be a slave to you get up in the morning you go to work you come back you, you pay rent you pay bill and and that's it you know what i'm saying it's like you have no life because if you think about all oh, the rent all oh, the rent all oh, the rent all oh, oh, the car payment all oh, the this and i never want to get myself locked in in this kind of thing and i always rented places that was really really cheap and I would, I would like take a dump if I have to and fix it up because I have the ability and I know how to paint, I know how to fix up things and make things nice. And I would always do that and rent some places and I would make it really, really nice. And the people would come and say, oh my God, your place is so nice. Like the, the landlord, you know, and he would like to want to be like, oh my gosh, it's so, it's so nice. I want to put the rent up and all kind of stuff like that. But, you know, but sometimes these are the things that, that you have to do because that's how life is. And another thing is like if you you have a really good job, okay, for example, you you know you have a good salary and everything like that. Still, like you want to live like a, a certain way, you want to live a certain life, that's fine. I'm not knocking anybody. But to the people who cannot like afford this kind of lifestyle, it's okay. It's 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 okay. It's okay because in this world there's all kinds of people. There's poor people, there's middle class people, there's rich people. And if you're a rich person, I'm happy for you, you know. And I hope that you, you, you're you able to share and give people of some of the things that you have, you know, be a kind human being. If you're a middle class person, I hope you can do the same thing too. And if you're a poor person, I can, I can relate to you if you're in that situation, if you're a poor person. I understand what it is because I wasn't born rich, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't. So in this video, I just, I just want to say that it is really important to do what is best for you. Do the things that is right for you. Do the, the things that are right for your fa family and for your pocket. Because Mr. Jones, Mrs. Jones, Mr. Sally, <laughs> Mrs. Sally, <laughs> you know, Mr. Tom down there, you know, is not crying in his bed at night while you're hungry, you and your children. Make the decisions that is going to be best for you. Live in a place that you can afford. So we have this this land here. It took us seven years to get this land, right? We had to work hard. We had to live in a small place. We had to downsize. We had to do many things before we were able to save money to get this land. Now we have this land and somebody might say, oh my God, you have such a big land. Well, it, it, we didn't get it yesterday. We didn't get it last, year, <laughs> last week. You know, it took a while. And sometimes people don't want to go through the process of going through the process of, you know, maybe just living a small space, saving and sacrificing and squinging, like we say back home, you know, in the Caribbean, they don't want to do that. They just want everything to come fast, but it doesn't, it, it, it's really, it's really, really, really not like that. So uh, we know that a lot of people do live from paycheck to paycheck, and this is not a good way to live. It is very stressful and it's just, it keeps you very uneasy because you have to wonder, oh my goodness, if anything goes down, you don't, you don't really have the money, you don't really have the saving to, you know, take care of yourself and your family. So I can understand how this can be very, very disheartening to some people. But what I want to say is there are alternative way of living and you don't have to be ashamed if you decide to live in an alternative way. You don't have to live in an apartment. You don't have to live in a house. You could do something else, right? So the first thing you can do is live in an RV. An RV is a cheap thing to purchase. You can get a very, very cheap RV, $500, $700, $600, $1,000. You can go as expensive as you want, okay? I mean, there's RV here in Canada, secondhand RV. It's on Craigslist. It's on Kijiji. I mean, there's... a uh, wide number of them here if i if i in was in that situation i would definitely live in an rv no problem whatsoever so you can buy an rv you can rent land off somebody very cheaply and you can park your rv and you can live there you know what i'm saying so that's an alternative way of living and it's okay because that's what you can afford and maybe you have a good job and all the money that you're saving for this expensive rent you can believe in there for free. I know somebody who lives in a in an RV park and they're paying very, very little. They're paying like about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a month, you know, and that's very cheap. I mean, 
I think you can afford that even if you're working for $16 an hour because you'd have to pay that big expensive rent for $1,400, $1,500. Can you imagine how much money you're going to save if you do that? The next alternative is to buy a piece of land, like buy a land in a rural agricultural setting. Like here, it's a rural agricultural setting. If you buy a piece of land here in Canada or in the States, in the States, land is much cheaper. I have my family there and the land is much cheaper than in Canada, honestly. So you can buy a rural piece of land and you can, again, get your RV, park your RV there. The third thing you can do is you can buy a mobile home. You don't want to buy a new one, but you can buy a used mobile home. I know in New York State, you can get a used mobile home for $2,000. You can get a nice little used mobile home for $2,000. You can even buy a shed for $3,000. There are some smaller sheds that say for $1,500. Like you can buy that, pack that on your land. That is your home. You can get some solar panel. You know, there's alternative way of living. People just, you know, they're not looking at that. They're not looking at the alternative. Oh, people are going to laugh at me. I'm living in the bushes. I'm living on a piece of land in a little small place. Well, baby, well, honey, if I'm working for $40,000 a year and I could buy a piece of land for $12,000 and I can get a shed for $2,500, honey, I will be taking myself and go over there with my shed and live in there and make myself very snappy. And every year I'll have more money in my pocket. I'll be financially stable and I won't have to be worrying about all that stuff. Okay. But Canada have very, a lot of different laws and it's not as easy as in the U S but if, if, you know, if I was not in a situation where I was and I was unmarried, you know, me and my husband was in a different situation and we needed to do that. We would do that. Cause we're not we're not proud people we're not prideful people you know what i'm saying if if me and my husband lose our little house or anything like that we don't care we, we could go live somewhere in a local we could live in a tent we could live on, <laughs> in a shed we don't care because for us it's not about money it's about living our life and it's about freedom the freedom to be yourself the freedom to not be in debt the freedom to 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 have you know, we want to get up and go somewhere, we just get up and go. We don't have to worry about, you know, this, that, 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 that. Oh, the, the car has to be paid. Oh, this has to be paid. Oh, that has to be paid. We want to live our life of freedom. And I know a lot of you want to live your life in freedom. So why not do it? You know, why not do it? Why Why are you there, like, um, stressing yourself out to this rent and stuff like that? Something else that you can do is move to another location. Like, if you're living in a state and that state is very expensive, you can't afford it, move to another state. When I just moved to Canada, I was living in an area. It was, you know, it was a little expensive. I moved somewhere else. I moved where I can get a cheaper place to live in. You know, I moved the kids to a different school. You know, my kids were small at the time. They were in daycare. You know what I'm saying? Put them in a next daycare. You know what I'm saying? Like just move, move around. You could even move to another country. You know what I mean? Move to another country, like get your passport, move to another country where things are cheaper for you. I have my friend, she was in the US. She moved to Costa Rica. Cause it's cheaper there and now she's so happy she's talking said saying to me oh my gosh i'm so happy i moved to costa rica me and my kids are so happy you know i have another friend she's a, she's another part of the caribbean i think which part i don't remember exact the other country out of my head right now this is it barbados or anyway like so many people are just moving to other places oh my other friend she was here in canada she moved to gambia you know i have another another friend again they moved to Ghana yeah they're in Ghana it's like cost of living high for them they got up and they took the money that they have and they move and now they're happy the money that they have they're happy my friend she came on vacation we went out and because she came from from Gambia and we had a fantastic time and she said girl when are you gonna come to Gambia it's so much better here it's so much cheaper here she have a little homestead she built a house she have her animals she have her garden life is good for her you know it's like, why are we struggling and suffering in, in some places uh, what, what we can't afford? You know, just, just get up and go. It's not the end of the world. Get up and go. That, that is my opinion. This, 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 is, this is what I think. So the point of the video is there is alternative way of living. And if you if you're having issues, you can't pay your rent or you're really struggling, look at those alternative way and don't feel embarrassed. Don't feel ashamed because you make an alternative uh, decision, you know? Because at the end of the day, like I said, the beginning of the video, it's all about you. It's all about you being happy. It's all about you being comfortable when you go to bed at night. You should be happy with yourself. You should be happy to get up the next day and go to work. And you should be pleased with your life and 
the life situation that you choose but if you're in that kind of situation and you're feeling if you're in that situation and you're feeling down and you're feeling out right now maybe you cannot move tomorrow but make plans to move and make plan to do something alternative okay so i hope this video was helpful to you i hope some this video touched somebody because sometimes i make videos because it's on my heart to make certain things so this video was on my heart to make make today so i wanted to make it for you guys because maybe there's somebody out there who needs that and you know it's just like the spirit wants me the universe wants me to make this video for you so yeah i'll go over the points again for you get an rv move to a new place you can get a cheap mobile home get get some cheap land and live on it put you there are some sheds that you can buy fix it up make it into a home you know what i'm saying move to another country or just move to another location move to another city where things are much cheaper for you and don't be afraid to take chances and uproot yourself because i did that before and honestly it was the best thing i ever did because you know it's not good to be in one place just struggling 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 you know that's not good for the body the health the spirit the mind the mentality it's not good at all it drives you insane so guys thanks for watching <laughs> i love you all for always supporting my channel i really appreciate you all and stay positive think positive thoughts don't let anybody get you angry it's not worth it you have one life live it to suit you and enjoy your life okay mwah, mwah. see you in the next video ciao ciao my loves